How's it going guys? Nathan from Nathan's MRE and today we have a very special ration. This particular one is a Japanese life bolt ration from 1979. Okay, so this one's made by the Banyu B-A-N-Y-U company from Tokyo. Now, Banyu got bought out in 1984. That's eh, kind of a sketchy history. I did some research on it. It looked like the Merck company bought it out in 1984 after being their, their partner for over 40 years. So this company's been dead for quite a while. Uh, bought out, you might say. And we what we have here is a product of their existence. And what this is, this is for life Japanese lifeboats. This has hard biscuits. It says food A. I don't know what that means. Um, and you can barely make it out here. It says ingredients. Something flour, fat, preservatives, chemical. Okay. Uh, moving down here has jelly bars in it. And we can't really read any of that. It is really a shame. And like I said, on the rear, the Japanese side's even worse. We'll be able to translate it. So it is in a hard plastic container. These are what they kept on lifeboats back then in Japan. So we're going to go ahead and pull it apart here. It did not come sealed. It came just like this. I don't know if it ever was sealed. I'm going to go ahead and pull it out. I mean, it is seriously a heavy ration. Was that around two and a half, three pounds? So we have a little more writing on the inside. Maybe that'll tell us a little more bit about it. And by the first smell of it, it smells just like swimming pool chemical. Or if you've ever been in a hot tub, that bleachy kind of uh, chlorine smell, that's what it smells like. So we're going to go ahead and get this guy out of here. And there is a lot of stuff in there. Look at all that stuff. We're going to chase this paper out and see if that tells us a little bit more about what's going on here. Oh, it has English on the back. Okay, so it says, keep your hopes up. You will be rescued. Okay. Lifeboat and raft rations. This package contains food A and food B. Edible on the spot without heating. Food A is prepared with cereals and food B with some sugar. Hard biscuits. A ingredients. Wheat flour, fat, preservatives, chemical. Contents, nine cubes. A jellies, food B. Ingredients, sugar. Agar, agar. Whatever that, <laughs> I don't know what that means. Uh, natural flavor, preservative, chemical. It's got chemical on both of them. Uh, contents, 9 cubes, 144 grams. Total calories, 2,580 calories. And all the rest is in Japanese. Looks like it says uh, same thing, but it has where you put the name of your boat on it. I guess a little survey you could take. I'm not really sure. For the accident memo. So I guess you crash your, crash your boat and you're on your lifeboat. You can fill out a insurance claim right there. Okay. So this stuff is all covered with like a white residue. You can probably see that. I'll go ahead and get the package flared out here for you. And it's all Japanese on that side and on that side. And it is delaminating and there is white powder pouring out of it. So let's just go ahead and try to rip this open. I can't tell if the white powder is coming from the package or the actual food itself inside. It looks like it's the package. Look how delaminated it is. Where's our knife at? Get the bottom of this right away. That looks completely disgusting. Look at that guy. Blow all the packaging off of it. Yeah. This is what I presume is the jelly bar. This doesn't actually smell like chemical. Well, a little bit. So let's set that off out of the chemical dust storm here. And let's see what else is in this brick. So here... Yeah. Get over there. Here are the cereal bars. So there's one, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight cereal bars. Nine, just like the package said. I'll tell you what. It's pretty pretty tough. Let me wipe this crap off. It's all over my pants. It's alright. And the food bar or cereal bar hopefully will be in some kind of decent shape. But if it had fats in it, maybe it won't. And this had, I think I already said that, has a production of March 9th, 1979 and expiration of March 8th, 1982. It's already cubed up for you. Awesome. Look at that guy. Oh, that smells wretched. Absolutely wretched. Well, it's kind of like paint and possibly, I don't know, rancid fat maybe. So our jelly bar, first of all, has some chunkies going on in the middle of it, like a little sandwich. Like a little salmonella sandwich, maybe. Let's try to cut this bad boy in half by cutting our table. Holy! Look at that. Yee. I don't know. It smells like they'd probably kill me if I ate that. Take a little bite off the corner. It's very sticky. Ew. A little bit of sweetness, a little bit of rancidity to it, and a little bit of paint taste. Like every ration we ever get, every time they're in foil packaging, no matter what it is, they don't hold up. So that should be a, a feature reference to a lot of you packing companies that are doing that still. Okay, so we have a little block of our biscuit here, a hard biscuit. What does that smell like? It smells like, oh yeah, every other old MRE that I eat. All right, let's try it and see. Very sweet, very sugary. Very grainy. Oh. oh God. Man, that was pretty tough. It is okay at first, it coats your mouth, but the problem is it's like eating chalk, right? So it's all stuck in your teeth. All I can do is go outside with a bottle of water and just keep rinsing my mouth till it all is out of there. That is, it reminds me if you go to Walmart, got you a big straw, open a gallon of house paint and just stuck the straw in and got a mouthful of it. That's what it tastes like. It's something to do with that foil packaging. Some kind of chemical separates off of there. I would think if you would eat that, it would probably, obviously a tiny little bite's not gonna kill you. If you ate a lot of it, it probably definitely would not be good. So I guess overall, this is probably a good ration when it was new, when it was good. I don't know if it would stay good in a plastic container on the side of a lifeboat for three years. Probably depends on what the light bulb was stashed. If it was outside, hell no. So I don't know. It was a good effort at the company. Maybe that's the reason why they're not around anymore. I'm really, really not sure about that. That is going to be all for today's ration, guys. I want to thank all you guys for watching. If you guys don't know, down in the description, there is a link to my Amazon affiliate store. We have U.S. rations, stuff like that for sale on there. How that works, you guys click on stuff, buy stuff, I get pennies off of it. The stuff does not ship from my house. Um, I need to work closely in hand with foreignmre.com to make sure that I don't have stuff on there for sale that they have for sale. So right now it's only American stuff. Very few, we have a lot of the rations that I've done in the past, the Russian Tashanka, stuff like that is in there that you know, foreign MRE is not gonna carry. 
just off odd, oddball off the wall foreign stuff and american stuff there's also some hunting and camping stuff in there that definitely supports the cause like i said it's not stuff coming from me personally this is affiliate marketing so i get some you know a few pennies off each sale or whatever in the long run that adds up to more money to buy rations just something a little different we also did that on the bmw channel if you guys get a chance go over there the links in the description for that channel go check out that store too there's car parts on that one that's it guys i'm gonna quit talking thanks for watching and have a good day